This is the KBD67 Lite R4, my first custom mechanical keyboard. It has been such a great experience using this keyboard for the past few months on a daily basis, and today I'll be reviewing this keyboard. The KBD67 Lite is a 65% layout, not 75%, not 96%. 65% layout is a sweet spot for me. It's not only minimalistic and compact, it also provides all the available functionality you need on a keyboard. The version I got is the wired version, which is more budget friendly, around $20 to $30 cheaper. The keyboard is also compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. It also supports QMK VRA software, which basically means you can configure your keyboard layers by binding key functionalities to the physical keys on your keyboard or manage your RGB settings. Although configuring the keyboard is pretty time consuming due to the complexity of the software, but it's a nice niche feature for those who need it. The keyboard also supports very rich RGB colors. On the keyboard, there are 39 RGB modes and you can adjust the hue, saturation, and the brightness. I personally really enjoy the variety of RGB colors. And to be honest, I was very surprised on how smooth and dynamic the RGB is on this keyboard. Now let's dive deeper into the technical side. For the keycaps, I prefer a keyboard that is stocky and creamy, so I got a thick budget XDA Double Shot PBT keycap set that I bought on AliExpress. I thought these grayish keycaps would definitely fit with the keyboard's monochromatic theme that I was trying to achieve, and I think it looks pretty minimalistic and nice. Just a reminder, all the products or alternatives I'll be mentioning throughout this video will be linked in the description. And to achieve a budget creamy keyboard, I got the Gateron KS3 Miku yellow switches. These linear switches are quite popular for budget builds. They go for $2 for a pack of 10, and they're also incredibly smooth and creamy once they're lubed. Building a custom keyboard is like assembling a complex LEGO set but for adults. Since this is my first ever custom keyboard, building this keyboard took 3 hours or even more if you're also counting the hours spent on, lubing each switches and stabilizers. All the parts of the keyboard are provided in the kit itself, from screws, PCB, plate, etc, you name it. In terms of the mods that I've used on this keyboard, I used 3 layers of the tape mod on the back of my PCB, and 3 layers of paper tissues in the bottom case. Yes, paper tissues. And in terms of my switches and stabilizers, I looped them with Crytox G205. I also did the Holy mod which has significantly improved the sound and the feel of my stabilizers. Now the moment you've been waiting for, the sound test. Overall, typing on a custom keyboard feels so much nicer than your average gaming keyboards or office keyboards. Being able to type on a custom keyboard that you customized and built for yourself allows for a whole new typing experience. I also want to mention that this keyboard is definitely not a budget friendly keyboard, so the final price of my keyboard totals around $140, including keycaps and switches, so it's more of an entry to mid tier keyboard. I'd recommend the Keycon keyboards or the QMK67 if you prefer a more budget keyboard. Anyways, thank you for watching.